thank you very much everyone who already joined and welcome to our webinar and the uh, umbrella topic i would say is studying business administration and industrial engineering in germany as you know those who signed up welcome and thanks for joining my name is georgi and today i will be co-host and at the same time co-moderator of uh, today's webinar and as you can see i'm not alone and there are much more interesting people today who are joining us. We have guests from um, German universities who will present two programs today. And you know these programs, but I will once again uh, introduce to you agenda for today. But before we move to the most interesting part of our today's webinar, let me make, uh, do my short presentation about uh, my German university and also about share with you some details that might be interesting for you uh, as, for, as for those who are interested in general in studying in Germany. And then we will move to our, um, our presenters. So uh, you should see now my screen. And as I said, uh, today's topic in general is studying business administration and industrial engineering in Germany. And who is behind this webinar? Let me tell you a couple of things about my German university. So we are Germany's largest database of English taught study programs. When you go to mygermanuniversity.com, you'll be able to find over 2,400 uh, programs, which are at least mostly taught in English. And they are both on bachelor and at the same time master's level. And on the left-hand side, you can see a small excerpt of our study finder, and you can see that you can also find some short courses and language courses also uh, in Germany. Uh, our mission, to put it really simply and shortly, is to help international students like you on their way towards studying in Germany. And our study finder is exactly one of the ways of doing that. So as I said, this is only a small excerpt of study finder, but uh, on the left-hand side, on the top left, you can see uh, the study finder. And when you click on that, you will be able to find lots of uh, filters uh, that we have. So for example, you can even find a program um, that according to your IELTS score or TOEFL score, et cetera, et cetera. So it can go that specific. And I would strongly suggest you to make a good use of it. Uh, then, uh, and a second way of helping you is through our articles. So we write lots of articles. We have more than 70 comprehensive articles on various topics. On the left-hand side, you can see the navigator and you can find articles based on topics like scholarships, like studying medicine, uni assist, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the second way. And the third way is uh, through, our, uh, through our webinars. So like the one that we are having today, we have uh, around 150 webinars per year. Uh, and also uh, separately, we have the different format of, uh, of uh, meetings with you, like meeting formats. And uh, the topics we cover are also uh, various, like visa, uh, application strategies, or um, scholarships, or generally studying in Germany, or also subject webinars that, like the one we are having today. And you can uh, find all already planned webinars on our um, uh, webpage. And when you go to the section of webinars, you can sign up for the webinars for free. And uh, I would also suggest you to create the free account, uh, which will help you to unlock more of the options that we are offering on our website about our team. Our team is international. So despite the fact that we are based in Hamburg, Germany, we are also based in different cities and towns of Germany. At the same time, outside Germany, we have people who are uh, based in Brazil, who are based in China, in Spain, etc., etc. And we are counseling in various languages. And you can see some of them uh, also uh, on the screen. All right. So uh, before now, before we move to our presentation, um, as I said, I'll introduce to you also several couple of things uh, regarding studying in Germany. But before I do that, let me briefly introduce to you once again our agenda. As I said, we have two uh, programs and two universities which will pre uh, present two programs. So uh, BBW Hochschule and also um, Hochschule Wismar. And we have our guests who will be present. Um, so we have programs on both levels today, on bachelor level and master level as well. But before uh, we move uh, to our presenters, let me tell you a couple of things uh, about studying in Germany, as I said. So for those who are more interested in German taught study programs, maybe a Hochschule Kompass would, should be your stop and it will be interesting for you. 
But for those who are more into English taught study programs, that my German university in our study finder definitely should be your stop. And if you go there, you will be able to find around 900 programs, uh, degree programs in business administration and industrial engineering. And uh, most of them will be purely in English. You can see that uh, around 200 programs are on bachelor level and uh, around 700 programs are on master level. And you can see that most absolute majority of them, I would say, are purely in English, meaning that you don't need knowledge of any other language, in this case, German, particularly German. Uh, for those who do not know what to expect when it comes to studying business administration or industrial engineering in Germany, so you are newcomers and you don't know what are, for example, uh, generally the rankings of universities that offer this type of programs or tuition fees, range of tuition fees, or what approximately what are the application, admission, or language requirements, then I would suggest you also to visit our subject pages exactly for these subjects. Uh, and you will see, you will be able to find some really useful uh, general information when it comes to uh, studying these subjects in Germany. Um, so uh, regarding general advice from our side, of course, everyone, everyone wants to find the, the best fitting university and profile and study program, of course, but sometimes students are um, some, uh, giving too much attention to things like, for example, rankings or, uh, for example, um, city names, et cetera, et cetera. So our suggestion would be don't be guided um, purely by quantitative metrics. Deep, uh, dive deeper into the programs when you are searching because not for example not all the not all the rankings uh, are really reflecting um what your interests so that's why um yeah, you should uh, dig deeper into the program. For example, when you find a program or study finder, go and see what is the curriculum, what it is about, et cetera, et cetera. Only then you'll be able to find whether this program fits your interests or not. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, what I would like you to know uh, from my uh, from my presentation is uh, there are two types of uh, uh, universities that I would like you to know about in Germany. So the first type of university is Universität type of university. And when you go to our study finder, for example, uh, you will be able to control for that. So control for uh, the programs in business administration or industrial engineering that are offered only by this type of university. And you will be able to find over 500 programs. And the second type of university that I would like you to know about is University of Applied Sciences. It's called in, Germ in English. In German, it has can have some different wordings, uh, not the easiest one for those who do not know German, but yeah, you can try and read them out, out loud. Good training for your German. So uh, yeah, and you can also control for that in our, in our study finder, you'll be able to find almost around uh, 400 programs which are offered uh, by these type of universities in the field of business administration and industrial engineering. I'm telling you about these two types of uh, uh, universities, but maybe in your countries, in my countries, also was the case that we do not have this distinction. And my question also was, okay, what is really the difference? Should I be worried about it or not? So I would say that you shouldn't worry about it at all. So uh, from my perspective, the key difference that you should know about is in focus. So if you are more interested into research and theory than maybe university type of university should be, um, you should take into account university this type of university, but if you are more into application and practice, then uh, it's more about the University of Applied Sciences. If you are interested in uh, further details, background of why there's these differences, uh, different type of universities, please email me and I will try my best to be as concise and as clear as possible. Um, yeah, last but not least, Again, um, from my perspective, searching the right uh, university profile is really important. That's why um, you should be more attentive uh, here. And uh, when it comes to also wordings, uh, when sometimes students are really uh, restrictive in terms of wordings, and that's why they might um, miss some of the programs which actually might fit their interest and their background the best. That's why my suggestion and our suggestion would be play a little bit with words because uh, the same curriculum, they may be similar curriculums of the programs, but with different wordings. So in order to make sure you are well informed about all the programs uh, that are relevant to you uh, and they are on the table in Germany, please 
play a little bit also with the words when you are searching for the programs, for example, on our study finder as well. Now we move to the very, very north of Germany, to Hochschule Wismar, and we have two guests. One of them is Stefan Löst, and uh, they will talk about um, uh, about the Bachelor of Science program in nautical sciences slash transport operations. So let me stop sharing my screen right now and invite our guests from Wismar to take the floor. Yeah, so a warm welcome from my side. Yeah, first of all, um, thank you very much to um, my German university for the invitation and to present our university and um, some selected um, uh, programs from our international programs and study degree, study degree courses. And um, yeah, I will hand over first of all to my colleague, Mr. Gary Toschling. He will start the presentation. And um, while the presentation, we will switch back to me and I will go ahead later on. Please, Gary, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you. So uh, welcome to our guests. And uh, also thank you for me for the opportunity to present our study programs um, here online. So uh, I think we uh, want to uh, take a bit broader view um, uh, on our studies. So we will show you actually three uh, study courses, which are um, international, um, yeah, directed to international students. And um, maybe we can switch uh, a slide. Uh, only one. <laughs> okay. Um, um, uh, we will uh, yeah present three um, courses, two bachelor um, degree courses and one master degree courses. But first, we want to start uh, with a short introduction um, uh, of the Wismar University campus. Yes, uh, Wismar. University was founded in 1908, and uh, currently we have three faculties: so engineering, business, and design. So we belong um, to the um, department or faculty of engineering. We are the department uh, of seafaring and uh, technology and logistics. Um, altogether, we have about um, 8,400 students. This includes. Uh, around 1,000 international students in uh, 46 undergraduate um, study courses and uh, roughly more than 30 master programs. We have strong international corporations, but the strongest ones are with Indonesia and of course in the Baltic Sea area. We are um, located in Rostock, our, our department directly on the Baltic Sea and uh, uh, locally or regional uh, corporations. We have with Chechen, with, um, with Kalmar in Sweden, uh, with Svendborg in, um, in Denmark, and uh, so all the neighboring states of the Baltic Sea. But uh, let's focus on our cooperation with Indonesia. And uh, as you can see, uh, uh, one back, please. This shows the distribution and these 413 um, students uh, we had last year from, from Asia, um, roughly, I would guess, um, maybe you can correct me, Stefan, uh, uh, a quarter of that is just coming from Indonesia. So um, this is uh, the distribution of our international students and Europe, um, the majority, but also from Asia and from Africa. Okay, so then let's focus on our first uh, study program. So this is nautical science transport operations, which we were uh, asked to introduce here. Uh, I'm a navigational officer myself, so um, I guess I'm the right one to introduce you to this uh, very interesting topic. The objective of this degree program is to um, achieve a certificate of competency. This uh, is according SCCW 95. It means uh, standard of training and certification of uh, watchkeeping uh, personnel on board of ships. So this, uh, as you can imagine, involves um, a high degree of responsibility for the ship, for the cargo, for the environment. And uh, that's why the um, yeah, let's say the uh, efforts to gain such a certificate of competency are rather high. So this uh, 
um, course of study is based on uh, polymarine. This is in the uh, 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 University of Applied Science in uh, Indonesia, where we have a cooperation since uh, a very long time, so beginning of nine. Uh, of the 2000s already and um, the concept is that we have nine semesters in total so this includes a kind of pre-semester in Indonesia and eight um, semesters two of them basically on board of a ship and and um, of course some of the semesters are located or uh, based in Germany the place of study is based there so the, we have actually three locations. Is, uh, one is in Indonesia, one is on seagoing ship. That means not necessarily a lux luxury yacht. This uh, can be a merchant ship in most of the cases or a cruise liner. And of course, uh, you know, we will see our students in Visma sooner or later. And um, um, this is a very interesting um, course of study, of, co um, of course, it's my prof profession myself, and uh, you learn how to, how to handle a ship, how to handle the crew, and um, how to become one of the, uh, you uh, are on your way to a captain um, uh, of, a, of a seagoing vessel, which uh, is uh, a nice thing, I would guess, uh, as you as you uh, might uh, imagine. So, and uh, this study course um, involves some additional, um, yeah, let's say preconditions to get uh, enrolled. So uh, um, this includes a uh, fitness for sea service health certificate. So of course, uh, if you are, I guess some. Um, you must be fit to um, be able to uh, do all the safety stuff you have to do on board of a vessel. And, uh, um, and usually we enroll students which uh, hold a um, certificate from a higher school, usually 12 years or uh, anything uh, comparable with that. Uh, we have to admit that this study program is um, mainly um, focused on um, Indonesian citizens, because there are some local restrictions to get these uh, certificate of competency. So the to, to be a uh, to be an, um, a watch officer on board of a vessel, because every country has it's um, even though it's uh, everything is standardized, but every country has uh, country has uh, its own special um, requirements. And um, this course of study is not really for free, so you have a tuition fee of around uh, 1,300 US dollar per semester. So you see the value in, in Indonesian rupiah, and uh, additionally um, you have some <coughs> fees, uh, some have some cost for the accommodation. It's around 500. 500 US dollar. Uh, in the end, you get a um, certificate uh, additional to this um, certificate of competency. You will become a Bachelor of Science and uh, uh, from both universities, actually. So um, this is a real study program, not only to, um, to become a navigational officer. And um, now we can show you what kind of modules there are involved. So besides some um, some normal lectures, as you can see on the uh, with a picture with a blackboard, we have uh, meteorology, we have uh, navigational science, we have ship handling, we have team management, and some uh, other. Um, management and communication skills and a very uh, huge part um, in this program is um, dedicated to um, any kind of cargo you might transport later on on, on a on a vessel so this is liquid bulk as uh, you know on tankers or gas cargo and gas tankers or even uh, uh, containers or passengers as a kind of 
cargo, so to say. So um, we try to combine very traditional ways of navigation, like uh, on a navigational chart with a triangle and a divider and uh, um, using a sextant and with um, yeah, new ways of um, navigation, such an electronic chart and information uh, display system and um, and um, newest radar technology and electronic navigation like satellite navigation and all it, uh, with its different systems so um, um, you as a navigational officer you will become a generalist uh, rather than um, a specialist in one field you have to handle a ship um, at sea uh, without um, getting help from somebody else because there's no one around you. So uh, you have to know um, a lot about everything rather than uh, everything about one single uh, item. Okay, this shall be the short yeah, introduction into the course itself. Here you can see some uh, contacts. So we have, we have the different homepages of the um, institutes, Polymarine, um, and uh, of the uh, Hochschule Wismar, Wismar University. We have the mailing addresses, and uh, even uh, you can see uh, with this um, QR code a YouTube video on the Polymarine channel about our course of study, which was produced, uh, I think, one or two years ago. So it's not so long ago, it's quite actual. And um, we'll be happy if we raise the interest in the Nordic science or transport operations, if you contact us and we can provide you some further information. And now I'd like to hand over to Steffen, which will tell you something about the um, bachelor course of marine engineering. Steffen, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you, Garrett. And uh, now we want to switch to marine engineering. Marine engineering is our second uh, field of competencies, what we can offer to you. Um, we will do it in cooperation with the Institute Technology, Technology Zipoluno Pemba. As uh, Mr. Garrett already uh, mentioned, uh, we have a strong cooperation to Indonesia. And uh, the ITS is located in Surabaya in the mainland of uh, or main island of uh, Indonesia uh, on island Jaffa. Um, yeah, what is the Bachelor of Marine Engineering? This program was founded uh, um, more than 10 years ago, and that is actually a cooperation between the ITS and the University of Wismar. So we have made um, a combination of chip building, that is the proficiency of, um, of our colleagues from ITS, and the chip operation on the other hand. So we um, present the graduate, um, which can work in as a, like a translator. Yeah? So he is able to understand the customer side and the production side, the producer side. So for example, um, our students, uh, the marine engineering have understanding about the chipping industry but also the yard industry, the chipping company, but also between the processes on board the chip. He can translate from the, uh, from the crew to the, to the chipping company. So this is a huge market. Um, the demand of uh, marine engineering is very, very huge, but not strictly limited to the chipping companies. He is also, um, you find um, global deployment chances. Um, not only chipping company, also in the, in the part of offshore technology. And um, yeah, now our um, field, um, seaborne shipping, seaborne transportation, is currently under strong transition. So we are trying to follow up um, the Paris Agreement and want to change the chipping industry back to a zero emission or a zero neutral uh, emission uh, industry. And this is a huge demand market uh, where we really need um, um, high skilled workers, high skilled engineers. And that is what we want to do. Um, furthermore, our uh, graduates have also intercultural competencies, once uh, from the Central European, but also from the Asian. So, and they can, with um, such a competency, build solid bridges 
um, which affecting the most interesting hotspots in the shipping industry. The concept is quite easy. We have uh, one plus seven semester. Um, the first semester is um, regarded for the access in for the access in, in the German university. So the students have to fulfill the first semester. We have a number of selected courses. Um, what they need to pass. If they have passed it successfully, um, they will get the chance to enroll in our university. Um, after that, we have uh, seven semesters following, um, which is concentrating to uh, mention uh, um, hotspot or uh, uh, focuses like uh, chip building and also chip operation. Mm. Yeah, the main part of the study will be presented in Surabaya, Indonesia, at the ITS. And also one important part is at Hochschule Wismar. Um, we have located now the fifth semester here to present the students uh, mainly the laboratory work in here for the chipping operation. And finally, in the last semester, in the last semester, we select uh, six of the best students and invite them to do the bachelor thesis here in Warnemünde. So it's like a competition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the admission, the admission is quite easy. Um, we expect a certificate of high school, so or senior high school at minimum 12 years or higher, or comparable is also possible. Um, but this course is not only uh, selected for Indonesians, uh, it's also for international citizens, for everybody, who want to study marine engineering are highly welcome um, to start in our program. So um, we have a minimum requirement for um, for the English language uh, yeah, skills. So uh, people should be able to understand and to follow and to speak um, the English language. But we have no um, uh, yeah fixed minimum grades and in, in TOEFL or EELTS, uh, which is necessary to start this course. Um, this course is also um, charged or subjected to tuition fees uh, with 90 million Indonesian rupiah per semester at uh, around about 1,300 US dollar. And finally, after finishing your final examination, you will be a Bachelor of Engineering from the University of Wismar or, uh, and from the ETS, you will get uh, the Sayana Satu as one that is comparable with the bachelor degree. Yeah, here I will introduce you or give some, some, some insights about um, the main parts of our um, bachelor engine, marine engineering course. So we start with some basics, basics in mathematics and physics and thermodynamics and informatics and chemistry and so on. So the students get um, really strong from the man to become an excellent engineer. After that, we switch over to, um, yeah, to the main study, which is uh, presenting in chip building, um, what are the sections of a chip, what belongs to a chip, um, how to handle a chip, how to handle yard processes and so on. Um, yeah, main engine prime mover, you will get a lot of information how it works in combustion engine and um, what is necessary to operate with a combustion engine. It is not necessary that you have to operate a combustion engine, but it is really necessary that you have to understand how it works to come into discussion with some profession, professionals. Yeah, also maintenance. Maintenance will be a very strong part of that. Maintenance is the key for the future for sustainable uh, chip operation. And uh, that's why maintenance uh, will take a, a strong part inside this degree courses, but also um, a little bit of management, cargo, understanding of chip operation, chip handling and so on will also be a part of this degree course. Well, the next point is our master in marine engineering. That is the consecutive, um, the consecutive um, degree course, and uh, yeah, the objective is to get 
really high level qualification management uh, marine engineers. And the uh, occupation for, for SUS uh, graduates is um, in yards, in classification societies, shipping companies as well. So like uh, I mentioned already for the bachelor, but insurance, but you will uh, step up uh, one, one step more and get in a ma become manager in a management level. Um, this concept is also double degree and um, it is composed of by four semester. So we have three semester um, lectures and the fourth semester is uh, so for, the, for the master thesis. The place of studies, um, it's also uh, possible to study this course in Surabaya at ETS, but also in Barnemünde at Wismar University. Um, it's up to you how do you want to study or where do you want to study. You can do it once in Surabaya or in Barnemünde, so you will get in both locations um, present lectures and uh, all the lectures which cannot become in presence um, will be delivered um, by digitalization and uh, as an online format. Yeah, the admission is um, a little bit stronger. So um, before you become a student in Master Marine Engineering, you need a bachelor's degree in engineering, which should be have a strong regard to marine engineering. It's not necessary, but an engineering degree, it's uh, mandatory. Um, the GPA of that is 3.5 and the scale of five. So it's three, sorry, 3.75 in the scale of five. We also do not have a fixed minimum grade in, in, in English competencies, but we, for your convenience, we uh, require adequate um, in your skills that you are able to follow up. You have to do the, the uh, examination later on and you have to pass the examination. You can do it only if you are able to, to communicate in the English languages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, German language is not necessary, but if you want to study in Germany, we will endorse you to have some competencies for that or you need to learn. <laughs> um, yeah, this course is actually free for all citizens. Um, but uh, the only point is a bachelor's degree in engineering. Mm, yeah, tuition fee as well, 25 million per semester, which is approximately 1,700 US dollar. And finally, you will get once the certificate from University of Wismar, the Master of Science, and from the ITS, you will get the SDUA, Sayana Dua degree that is uh, comparable with the Master of Science. Yeah, some insights about the master program. Mm. You will get a lot of knowledge and kind of offshore technology. So offshore technology is uh, actually everything. That is um, chipping information, that is um, vent energy plants, that is um, um, drilling platforms, offshore platforms, and so on. So the how to operate it, how to develop it, and so that is a really inform, uh, uh, important part of the course. Um, some chipyard processes in advance of the Bachelor of Marine Engineering, you will get more information and more insights about the processes in, inside the chipyard. Um, shipping business. Shipping business is also um, strongly connected to risk management, decision maker, and um, yeah, human resource management, and so on. So fleet operation that belongs all to shipping businesses. Well, um, it is a master of science. That's why uh, we try to prepare you excellent for the sector in research and development. If you become a researcher later on, a scholar, um, you need a certain knowledge and you will get it in here. So for example, um, um, how to handle um, a project, the project management inside that, um, that will be part of the research and development uh, 
subjects. And finally, um, yeah, classification points, insurance points, all the, all the, uh, yeah, entrepreneurships and so on will be part of that and um, presenting um, the key competencies in master in marine engineering. Well, if you want to contact us, you can do it once by ETS. You see it in the upper line. And um, you will also find uh, on our uh, home pages or uh, uh, a lot of information. And you can also contact Mr. Bosse. He is the program coordinator uh, once in Surabaya, directly in Surabaya. But also you can contact um, our international office, head of international international offices, Mrs. Stoppel, you will find the addresses here. Well, so far from my side, thank you for your attention. And uh, yeah, I'm ready for your Q&A.